do you want your GM truck to do a better burnout? Had a lot of guys DM me asking me questions about this, so I figured I'd go over this tune. Uh, this one's going to be on a Gen 3 vehicle. I will do Gen 4 later. Um, but anyways, let's go and check this out. All right, so I do want to show you how to build a better burnout tune in both the drive-by cable and drive-by wire trucks. Um, so as we're working through this, I'm going to be pulling up multiple files. One's going to be the 2005 Sierra 5.3 stock file. One's going to be the O2 Silverado 5.3 stock file. We'll be swapping between the two. Just keep up with what you've got because there is a small little bit of differences. So, all right, let's get to work. So 2005 Sierra 5.3 stock is the file that we're on right now. Um, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to disable brake torque management. Um, so we're going to go into engine. We're going to go to torque management. And down here you're going to see brake torque management right here. Um, if you notice how there's a 200 RPM spread, I'm going to keep that same 200 RPM in my tune. You don't have to in yours. I just, I'm picky like that. Um, so the first thing we're going to change is our enable RPM. If you look down towards the bottom, you'll see the description. It says RPM must be above this to enable. So in order to have it work, in order to have brake torque management active, the RPM needs to be above this. So we're going to make this high. Um, if you look over in the bottom right hand corner, down here you'll see where it's 8,000 is the limit. So we're going to make it 8,000. And because I told you we're going to keep a 200 RPM spread on the disable, we're going to make it 7,800. Now you will see in this description that this one says RPM must be below this to disable. Uh, obviously we're going to be below 7,800 in this application. So that covers brake torque management on the 2005 drive-by wire. So now let's go to the 2002 drive-by cable. This one's in a little bit more of a hidden spot. A lot of guys don't know this. There's probably a lot of professional tuners that don't know about this one. Um, so we're going to open up that file. You'll see that we are open. And you're going to click System. And you're going to System Options. And as you'll see, you'll see our Axie for GMT 800. That is the style or the model um, number that GM gave to this specific truck, the 9902 or 9906 trucks or GMT 800s. Um, so I've clicked that to highlight it all. And you'll see brake torque management over here. Um, if you look, it's, it's got a number one. So number one means active, zero means inactive. Um, so we're gonna go in and click that and change it to a zero. All right, so that covers brake torque management on the 2002. Um, so let's go on back to the 2005 and we'll keep working along. Um, so if you're looking, a lot of guys want to change all of the torque management over here on the left hand side. Um, you don't have to. If you've got boosts or something, you can maybe have to adjust it. The only thing that I'll ever really adjust is if it's got a heads cam or something like that. This max torque right here, I'll just raise it up to a realistic number. Um, if you want to go on and, and almost max it out, you can. I never recommend fully maxing out torque management. Um, I have had operating systems where maxed out torque management will cause issues. So you'll see under this one where it says um, 350. If you look down at the bottom right hand side, um, it says 0 to 640. Um, I would make it 639. Um, but to me, just leave it alone. It honestly, in certain as uh, applications, this can actually cause your truck to not go into power enrichment without further tuning. So the best thing is just leave all this stuff alone. I know y'all probably seen videos on turning it off. Please don't. I promise that the truck is not any faster. We've tested it, I don't know how many times back to back, eighth mile, quarter mile, doesn't make a difference. Now what does make a difference, and this is what our, we're gonna work on next, ETC limits. Um, this is actually gonna be tables that are both on drive-by cable and drive-by wire. Um, some drive-by cable operating systems will have this first table completely zeroed out. Sometimes they won't. So we're gonna change it on both this 05 and the 02. Um, so the very top we're going to go to ETC TPS Max. We're going to click that. Um, and you'll see this whole table how it's very linear. This is where you're going to get some throttle response out of these trucks. Um, I will show you something though that a lot of guys, even professional tuners, don't understand. Is uh, We're going to go over here to left hand axis and you'll see 10%. We can click this and drag it all the way down and we can make it all 100. Do not, this zero line, leave it alone. What, the reason why I'm saying that is, is on the drive-by wire trucks, if you make this line 100 and you have a drive-by wire fault, the throttle can open up and rev all the way to the moon. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I have had it happen. By leaving it at this number one, um, that allows the truck to, if, if you go into a drive-by wire fault, the truck will be able to idle right around 13 or 1400 RPM. You actually be able to put it in gear and the truck should move down the road to try to get you safely somewhere. That's the way I do it. When it comes to this drive-by wire stuff, you do not want to mess with too many of these safeties. We want to be able to do burnouts, but we still want to be able to do burnouts safely. 
All right, so anyway, so that is this table, this ETC TPS Max versus RPM on the 05. Let's go over to the 02. And on the 02 model, um, same place engine, torque management. It is the same ETC TPS Max. We will do the same thing here just to be uniform. Now, on the drive-by cable, you can make this all 100. It does not matter. I promise you whether you have the one at the top row or the 100 at the top row, the truck's going to drive the same. Throttle response is going to be the same. It's going to be just as fast. It'll do just as big of burnouts. It's the same. All right, so let's go back to the 2005. Um, next one's going to be this ETC injector disable. Um, this one is um, kind of a weird one. Um, so to disable this mode, the off is, is the number 255 on is the number zero so we're gonna make this all 255 and under this one we're also gonna make power hop injector disable same thing right now it's zero we're gonna make it 255 um, we're gonna close this out alright so over here in our traction control this is gonna be more specific to some of these trucks like especially the SUVs may have traction control um, if you disable this sometimes you'll get a traction control light that stays on all the time um, I, there's no way in one video I can tell you as to what your situation is going to be. If you want to, you can just go into this uh, retard versus RPM. You can zero this out. And, that, and this aggressive re, uh, retard versus RPM will always be zero from the factory. Um, by making that change right there, um, the truck's not going to apply any timing retard whatsoever. Um, you can also disable this prevent downshift. You can click it to disable. Hold gear, you can disable it, and you can make all these down here zero. Um, that is something that you can do now if you do this and your vehicle all of a sudden has a traction control light on you have an operating system where you may not be able to do this and get away without having the light be on um, so we've done that in the 2005 so we can go ahead on and do it in the 2002 you will see it's exactly the same um, so we'll do the ETC injector disable make it 255 I'll close that out we're gonna do the power hop injector disable we're gonna make this 255 um, we're gonna make the retard versus RPM zero um, we're going to make this disable, disable, zero, zero, zero. All right, so that covers that part. Next, we're going to do abuse mode. So we'll go back to the 2005. You'll see over here, still under torque management, under abuse. Now, if you notice, notice how I didn't say anything about this table. Please don't touch this. This is what keeps 4L60s alive. Now, um, if you don't mind spending money on your 4L60, then and you have a potentially good builder which to find a good builder for a 4L60 these days is almost near impossible um, almost every trans builder that I know does not know how to build a 4L60 to even be able to be as good as factory use your own judgment but anyways if you want to reduce this I'll do another video on that but for this purpose please do not touch this leave this alone um, so anyway so we're gonna go to abuse now in this operating system for whatever reason um, this RPM right here is at 8,000 Normally they're set to 600 or 1600. This one, could, this, I just got this file from the uh, repository off hptuners.com. Um, somebody may have touched this, or this could be a weird operating system that has this disabled. Um, but anyway, so if it was factory, it would look like this. And so to turn it off, you can just have it at 8000 if you want. I normally just have this at the rev limiter because, again, I'm OCD when it comes to tuning, so I want everything to match just like how GM would have done it. Um, but anyway, so we're at 8000 there. The speed will just make this zero. Um, now let's go over to the O2 file on the O2 file it's in the same spot abuse you'll see this one is at 1600 um, so we'll just make it just like the other one since we already we're already here doing it um, so 8000 on that one zero on this one um, so that covers our torque management side of things now the truck will do a burnout if you have enough converter a lot of guys get confused on this if you do a camshaft and you run a stock torque converter the trucks not gonna do as big a burnouts as it would have from the factory because your loss of torque down low um, now if you get tires wet or you find loss of traction you get up high in RPM it'll do a better burnout but please don't please just understand that if you do long tubes in a camshaft and your own stock torque converter your truck's probably gonna do a worse burnout than it did from the factory just letting you guys know now aftermarket torque converter does great burnout so you can take a bone stock vehicle put an aftermarket torque converter in it great burnouts um, if you check JH's channel you'll see that he just dropped in a um, ZTG which is a ZTG camshaft which is from NK performance Dr. Tuna Mall um, you'll see they just did a 4,000 converter. Um, that truck's absolutely doing amazing burnouts right now, and y'all are going to see if you come out to Bristol. Um, anyway, so let's go into the trans side of things. So we're going to go back to the 2005, and we're going to open up the transmission file. Um, we're going to go to shift scheduling. Now, the 2005s doesn't have as many parameters as the O2, um, so we're just, we'll make the changes that we can on the 2005, and then I'll show you what to do on the 2002 model. 
Um, so we're gonna go to D1 Urban right here. Now this is for you pulling the shifter down in the first. Uh, a lot of guys will notice if you slam the shifter down in the first, it doesn't go to first sometimes. Or sometimes it'll still up shift to second. This is how you fix it. So you'll see one, two shift right here. You see where it's 27. Let's just make this 255. And you'll look over here and you'll see that this truck can do a maximum of 30 mile per hour um, in first gear on the downshift. So we'll just make this whole table 30. Just this table, 30. All right, so this side is done. Um, in this application, there's nothing else that needs to be done. This truck's gonna do burnouts and it's gonna hold burnouts pretty well. Um, could you do a burnout tune in one of the other like tow haul mode? Like some of you guys have seen my roll race mode, sure. Um, I can do a video on that one day, but uh, this right now is just gonna be for burnouts. There is a torque management tab over here. All of this stuff, you, it'll do burnouts just fine leaving this alone. The less you touch, the better off your truck's gonna be. I promise you there's so many tuners that get in here and they just they think that they need to make all these changes. I promise GM knew what they were doing. We only need minor changes. Um, anyway, so let's go to the 2002 file. Um, so we're gonna open that one up. We're gonna go to the transmission side of things. Um, we're gonna go under shift scheduling and you'll see this one has some extras. We have D1 Urban, Upshift uh, D2, Downshift D2, all this stuff. Um, this one has a better operating system for doing burnouts realistically. Now, um, can you get in the binary file on the 2005 and pull up some of these tables? You can, um, but O2, the O2 operating system has this in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to D1 Urban and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make this 255. And in this truck, um, you'll see where we got 33 over here. This truck probably has a little bit different tire size and gear ratio, we'll just do 33. Um, so now it's gonna hold first gear. Um, now we can click up shift in the second gear. Um, this is going to tell you the speed that if you put it in second, say you're, you know, you have it in second, you're doing a burnout, the truck's going to start off in first. Um, it's going to auto up shift in a second and then it should stay in a second. So what we can do is you see where it's at 38. We can just verify, we can click this full throttle shift speed and verify that 38 is going to be a good number. And, and as you'll see, the one, two shifts command at 36. So 38 looks perfect for the up shift on second gear. Um, as for the downshift on second gear, um, let's check it out. It's at 33. Perfect. Um, this truck is set up and ready to do burnouts. Uh, as far as anything else goes, I will continue to cover this stuff. But again, this is just for trying to get your truck to do burnout. I'm not making you a promise that your truck's going to do a burnout with this tune. This is just giving you the tune to do the best burnout as it can. Um, yeah, so that covers this one. Um, thanks for watching. Please remember to, to follow me on TikTok, subscribe on YouTube. Um, leave me a like, comment. I'm going to keep these videos going as long as the interest stays up. Y'all have a great day.